Hey everybody, Audit in the Front Range coming at you from the Colorado Springs Police Department Falcon Division here in Colorado Springs. Give you a little view around their parking lot here. It's a pretty small substation compared to some of the others that I've been to. Now we are along a side road here so road noise shouldn't be too bad. And then today my uh, extra special friend is coming along for the walk as per the norm so I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick look around the exterior of the property here now this is the same location that uh, had some pretty big issues uh, a few years back by uh, another auditor I can't remember the name uh, of his channel at the moment but uh, he ended up filing a lawsuit against this particular police department for violations of his first, fourth, uh, I think actually, I think it was just his first and his fourth amendment. Uh, so I figured I'd come over here and uh, take a look and see if they've learned their lesson since then. So we see a couple of signs here on the gate. Uh, they're read as uh, Colorado Springs Police Department, uh, you know, uh, authorized vehicles only be on this point. No parking, official police vehicles. Well, I don't identify as a vehicle today, so I don't think those signs apply to me. So quite a few vehicles back there. I'm just going to step to the side so this vehicle here can get in. if that is a police officer or a civilian employee. Guess we'll see. Pretty big parking area here, I must say. Uh, the Stetson Hills Division, I think, is the one uh, co most comparable in size to this. Stetson Hills had a, had a pretty decent parking lot uh, for their employees. Uh, and then if, you, uh, if you've watched my videos, we got to see a militarized police vehicle over there. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. So I'm gonna stay here and see if we can uh, see the guy that gets or see the driver that gets out of that vehicle I'm not gonna speculate if it's a guy or a girl because I don't know I uh, wasn't able to see well So again, while we're waiting on this guy to hop out of, or this driver to hop out of their car, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, being a newer channel, um, all the engagements that uh, my channel can get, uh, the further my videos will make it. Uh, YouTube's algorithm loves it when people interact with videos, so uh, please don't forget to do that. Uh, it's free, uh, it takes you a second to do, and for all of you that do subscribe, please make sure that you hit the notification bell so you can get notified uh, every time I upload a new video.
got another truck behind us here. The truck waiting to make sure that the gate closes and I don't go in. <laughs> Man, I have no intention of going in there today. Or or for any mat or any day for that matter. Now I may not have shown that black car there this entire time, but I have been watching it the entire time. And I haven't seen anybody get out of it yet. But from here, I cannot, uh, can't see through the windows. I couldn't see through the windows when, they, when the vehicle was over here. Uh, it's a really dark tent. Uh, and then just a little heads up here, we are pretty close to the United States Air Force Academy where they do a lot of uh, private, private pilots. Flying, so uh, you guys may hear planes here and there. Got a cop here now. Oh, not too bad. How about you guys? Staying safe out there? Said so you staying safe out there? Yeah. Good. Nice oh yeah, beautiful weather. Well, uh, hopefully it lasts long, man. You know Colorado, you never know what's to come in the next 15, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's coming sooner and sooner every year. Good, you too. That was a nice encounter. don't know if you guys are able to hear much of that, but uh, just exchanging general pleasantries. Yeah, I'm the kind of guy, man, I, uh, I treat people with respect until they disrespect me. Uh, so, cop was cool and cordial with me, so there's no point in, in me giving something negative to, you know, back to him when uh, he's done nothing wrong to me. give you guys a good view over the fence here. Excuse me. Rebels catch it up with me. I think I've seen enough on the back side here. Let's go take a look at the front, guys.
All right. Luckily, it's just a short little walk to get back over here. And uh, just so you guys know uh, that uh, the other auditor's channel that I was talking about earlier, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I will put a link in the description of this vehicle, uh, or sorry, uh, in the description of this video uh, so you guys can uh, take a look and see what happened uh, last time this particular substation was audited. And then we're back at the front again. Take a look at this sign here. So, all the normal signs that we're used to. So, as that states, um, there is no open carry allowed in this facility. However, those with valid concealed carry permits are allowed to conceal carry in public areas of this public building. So let's see. Yeah, I think that works. So I'm gonna set my tripod down for a sec to make sure that I can adequately conceal my firearm. Let's go take a look inside, guys. So I'm going to go get uh, a document that I need. Sir, are you carrying a firearm? Yes. It's posted on the door? Yes, it is. It's also posted on the door that persons with valid concealed carry permits are allowed to conceal in this building. Okay, okay. just making sure. Yep. Can I help you with anything? Yeah. I need to get a uh, release of, from like the documents where I can get police records. Sure, right behind you. Um, it's a Thank you. You're welcome. And is this all, will this also encompass uh, digital records? Um, or is this only for paper? Digital. Media. So, like body cam? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. So, there's our document. So right here. tried to assert her authority but I quickly shut that down guys if you want to quote what's posted on your door then you need to understand everything that's posted on your door and here we have our uh, nation's flag flying dress as it should be
So, here is the Colorado Springs Police Department, guys. Guess I'll take one more little walk over there by the cars and see, or by the parking lot and see what I can see back there before I get out of here. I don't know, I don't know if I uh, aimed the camera in the right direction, but uh, while I was in there chatting with the uh, attendant at the desk in there, uh, the same two gentlemen from the police car that we spoke with over here uh, came out from a, from a back private in, or private exit. So um, I don't know if you guys saw that. Hope, hopefully I captured that, but uh, just figured I'd let you know just in case you didn't. second everybody I'm gonna set my uh, tripod down here so I can better organize myself we have it guys I'm gonna go ahead and continue to record until I get back to the front and they have a uh, cameras all over the place at this building throughout all the police departments I've been to this has got to be one of the most uh, surveilled police departments that I've seen and I know that's uh, that's saying something I mean these are police departments you would expect a massive amount of surveillance but most of the other police departments I've been to have not had this level of surveillance I mean there's a camera basically on every corner And I think it was the Stetson Hills Division that did not uh, have very many cameras around their building, which from a, a safety or security standpoint, uh, <laughs> you would expect more, but maybe they just feel uh, inherently safe because it's the police department. I don't know. I mean, just to, just to give you guys a heads up, I also do have a mask on today, um, not because I'm sick, but uh, just an added layer of anonymity here. So if you guys have maybe having some issues understanding or, or anything like that, that, that may be uh, a factor there. I try to enunciate more when I'm wearing my mask, but uh, hopefully it's working for you guys. A couple of city vehicles, or at least a city vehicle here. So this is our city vehicles. Like I said, we're uh, we're considered the Olympic City here. So that's that emblem that you see on the driver's side door there. Colorado Springs Olympic City.
taking a look at the, at the different vehicles out here. Beautiful day for these walks. It really is, guys. We're, uh, we're expecting some cold weather here later this week, so I figured get out now while I can. It's a shit ton of soil in there. There's the disgraceful flag there, guys. Now, let me check you guys, or check myself real fast. I am not, nor will I ever be, a police abolishment person. You know, we need police. I am not a defund the police kind of guy. But, uh... Converting our flag into a Blue Lives Matter flag is a disgrace. Now that city worker is in his vehicle there. Um, I'm not here for him, so I'm not focusing on him. Oh, wonder how that's here. Because for something to be private, it must be owned by a private entity. Class is towing established in 1987. Unauthorized or illegally parked vehicles will be towed at owner's expense. Alright, well, I think this is it, guys. So, this was uh, auditing the front range at the Colorado Springs Police Department Falcon Division in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Out!